So welcome to part one of the most line series. Uh, this is going to consist of around uh, four or five tutorials. But in this first part, I'm just going to go through the very basics of the most blind tool. Uh, the most blind tool is located on the MoGraph here. So I'm just going to click it. And what we get initially is this very uh, simple line. And today I'm just going to concentrate on two tabs, object and simple. Basically, uh, most of the settings are here. And then we've got effectors and fields and then just the general coordinates and basic settings. So under object, uh, the mode is set to simple by default and the grow mode is set to complete spline. And we've also got separate segments. So I'm gonna show you the difference between these two. But uh, first, I'm just gonna go through these settings here. So start is basically the start position like that, much like uh, sweep nerves, uh, the end position, again, very simple and offset. We can offset the whole thing like that. So there shouldn't be anything really that unfamiliar. And then uh, we've got extend start and extend end. And this basically means uh, it tries to guess kind of um, when it's offsetting, it tries to guess um, the kind of uh, shape of the spline. So to better demonstrate this, I'm just gonna jump ahead to the uh, simple tab and I'm gonna add some segments. Now, segments is very much like the cloner tool. It's basically clones. So if I just add maybe uh, 10 segments, we're not gonna see anything till we uh, spread them out. So we can spread out these segments in many different ways. So we've got some really cool uh, kind of effects here. And we can even uh, curve these like that. We can uh, bend them, we can twist them. So lots of uh, cool deformers. And um, I'm just going to zero these out. And I'm just going to go back to uh, just spreading them out like this. So if I go back to my object tab, I'm going to explain to you what a uh, complete spline does. So it basically changes the offset behavior. So if I just offset this, it's almost as if this is one kind of joined up spline. It's just one kind of line. And if I change this to separate segments, now they're kind of behaving as if each one is their own separate object. So that's the difference between the two uh, grow modes. And I'm just gonna zero this out. Now I'm gonna go back to simple. We need to kind of jump back and forth quite a bit. And I'm just gonna add some curves and some bends, um, something like that. Now, if I go back to um, object and offset it, now this is where uh, extend start and extend end kind of kicks in. It basically tries to guess the shape the spline will take after it's kind of limits. And as you can see, it's doing something quite strange. It's kind of wrapping into uh, little spirals there. And if we go the other way, it's trying to basically guess uh, how the spline would continue. So you can get some really cool effects with this. And um, we've also got a width setting basically, much like a thickness. So I can uh, add kind of thickness to these most lines. The problem is uh, these aren't gonna render until you uh, drop this in a sweep nerves. So I'm just gonna go and create a sweep and I'm just gonna drop in most spline. And then I'm gonna add a circle like this. Now the strange thing is usually the circle would uh, define the kind of thickness, but if you are uh, using a most spline, then the thickness is actually controlled here, which is actually quite handy. And now we can render the most spline. So that's quite cool. Now, finally, I'm just gonna show you um, how to use the spline mode. You'll notice there's also a turtle mode, but this is quite complicated. So for now, I'm just gonna concentrate on spline. And I'm actually just gonna delete the sweep. Now you'll notice the uh, most splines disappeared. That's because I put it into spline mode and it's looking for a spline. So I'm just gonna go and create a flower, something like that. If I go back to most spline, I'm just gonna drag and drop the flower into the source spline like this. Now the most spline is basically um, 
using the path of this flower. And we can still uh, use start and uh, offset. And you'll notice it's doing something strange here. Um, if you want it to strictly uh, follow the path of the flower spline, just uncheck extend end and extend start. Then it just kind of strictly follows that path. Otherwise, it's going to try and guess like um, beyond that. So um, that was a very brief uh, introduction to most spline. In chapter two, we're going to go into a lot more detail. So. Uh, I hope that was useful and uh, thanks for watching.